Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to a, the recording. Now, in this recording, we will be uh, playing a different game for a change. We will be having a look at a couple of courses from the Golf Club 2019. Now, the first of those is one called Pop Mad Golf Club. And the, and the second one is going to be doing big, so we're going to have a look at those and go from there. That's when I can find the right game. Jeez, it won't be that far down. There we go. gentlemen all right things that has to do that for that ladies and gentlemen I need to get through that one as well so let me uh, let me get the per purpose of this video now 7647 yards uh, just as usual for my records I will put the wind speed as low but everything else is as default apart from green speed which I tend to like as very fast everything else is default And just as a key, we will be going with the uh, beginner clubs pure and simply because I don't want to play badly. Uh, this is about showcasing the cause, not showcasing my bad talents with this game. So. Uh, Although, admittedly, because it's that, because it's that long, I may decide to go up the pro clubs. I think the pro club will be a good trade-off, uh, which will give me the distance required, but will also give me a chance to uh, play the course and play it decently. So here we go.
So, hole 1 is a power four measuring 418 yards, stroke in X3. And I will just get rid of that uh, stream not started indication. Primarily because I'm not streaming at the moment. Disappear so we can get back to the game. Right, so as I say, hole one is a power four measuring 418 yards, stroke in X3. Decent strike to get underway with, and it's gone 284 yards, so a decent length, leaving us 127 playing 128. Uh, I'm just going to leave this as it is, probably just play it a fraction. there but shouldn't be too bad wasn't just landed on the front side of the green so six yards to go I'm just gonna lock this up to make sure it doesn't fall out too far just striking the ball that looks good good effort And a nice bar to start with. So we move on to hole two, which is going to be stroke index 15, par four, measuring 435 yards. A nice, uh, looks like a dog leg left, so I'm going to have to watch position. That's why I purposefully didn't go up to the driver there because I knew that uh, it was going to go up weird. Now let's check this. No, nope, a severe turnover to the right. Uh, the, the wind isn't going to affect the ball as much as the lie. Which will make... <laughs> We need a severe turnover to the right. Played it well. Now, how's his look? Mm, he didn't really get it up as far as he was hoping. But he's got an outside chance. Yeah, if that stops, it'll be fine. Well, that'll be frustrating. Missing a putt that easy. Can't afford to be doing that at this level. Yes, it could have been because of the bad tee shot, but even so, he gave himself an opportunity and couldn't convert. So, that's going a little right as well because it was a fast. Is it going to stay in bounds? Yes, it is. Captain off the 
of the fence. Should be a decent attempt though. Yeah, just a bit of a turnover. You're expecting the light to affect it more than the wind at this level. And he played that well. That was a really good shot. And he gets a birdie, which is the least he deserved after that shot. Hole four is a par four, measuring 489 yards, stroking it's 11. This one's actually meant to be a par five, but no. No, that was doing big, I'm on about. So, we'll see that in a minute. Or in a bit. Because I'll do both of those playthroughs in this recording. Now, a good shot here would be a sensible shot. Not asking for too much, because you've got to get it up over the lip. Yeah, that's a good shot. Good there, 131 yards. He's back in the fairway. 79, I'm going to say 71 because it's probably going to pick up pace. Because of the way he hits it, he hit it fast. Yeah, and it, it would have been the right decision because the current one would have gone too far, this is left a little pill. Or reasonably guessable. It's a good effort there, yeah, but just ran out too far, he's probably because he's got it on very fast, but feels confident of being able to read the very fast, that's why he's able to, that's why he plays it all the time. That was a good effort on the way back as well, just short. So we end up with a bogey there, second bogey of the round. And we went, we slipped to plus two. Now hole five is a par four, measuring 447 yards, struck in next nine. shot. Just going a little bit right. Now he's playing the light rough. That's unlucky to get it. Decent swing there. That was an even more decent swing. And that's why he's going to reward for it. What a super shot that was. Now can he reward himself? That's the question. He does this so often. He puts himself in position and then cannot convert. And there's another one. Alright, he only just missed it. But he missed it. Gonna have to get used to that and start making those. Hole six is a long par five, measuring 617 yards, stroke index 17. Playing the second easiest hole on the course. finding the fairway with each of these but it's just been finding the light rough I'm 
more often than not. But there. Uh, well, that was a lucky bounce as well, but such is the way this game is. The bounces aren't kind most of the time. Got a fast on it. But the line was pretty good once again. Made the green in three, he's got a chance of a birdie four. Well read on that occasion. Just enough on it, he should get a five. And does. So, hole seven is a par three, measuring 185 yards, stroke in seven. So, I am just going to hit the 174 because I guarantee this is going to go. shot it's a good looking shot it's a very good looking shot even though it still ran out and I went down one because of that it still was too far could have done with a bit Tad a loft, I reckon, on that one. A couple of touches aloft. Probably stopped it rolling. Good par, though. Stays where he is at two away. After seven holes. Hole eight is a par four, measuring four hundred and eight. 448 yards, struck in X5. It's not bad. It's probably going to kick out, so I've got to be careful. Just landing in the light rough most of the time, which is not too bad, but it would like to be in the fairway more times than not. It's a good shot. Wow, it's too much club. Happy with that one, ladies and gentlemen. There's too much club there. Needed to loft that to guarantee stopping. It should be okay and does. Just uh, struggling with his drivers at the moment, although that one ended up in the fairway. 
174 plus 12, he's just going to leave that where it is, he's not going to change club. In fact, he will. We'll just put a tad aloft on it. That's not the best shot. Is it going to get up? It is going to get up. It's going to fall off again. Yeah, that's a pretty good shot. Just lofted the chip, stopped it rolling, and it landed pretty well. He's got a chance of a four. But he misread it completely. So that wasn't good, even though it was only four feet. He didn't judge it well at all. Longest driver of the, of the round at that 379 yard par 4. 66 is what I'm going to go in with. too bad, just missed it by six to eight feet. And that was a good return. So hole eleven is a par four measuring four hundred and forty one yards, stroke in X fourteen. Three one four eight. Is that the club we want to go with? No, just care for the slow. Yeah, boy, was that the right decision? Cared for the slow, and it went up and got up there. Expecting this to turn. So it turned back far enough, but it has left it and make a pop for par. Oh, it's just overrolled it, unfortunately. Right, 28 is his lowest. 
Pretty good shot. That's 175 yards, that par three. And stroke index uh, two. On 13 is a 583 yard par five, stroke index 16. Forty three, two hundred and sixty five. This five hundred eighty three yard par five. Yeah, just took my time on that one. Just to stop it rolling out too far. And did I read it? Yes, I did. So hole 14 is a power four making 413 yards, stroke index 8. Not a bad shot. Looks to be going a little right, but managed to find the fairway. Just gonna deal off this. Frightened away waiting it and I proceeded to under it. And then I played that well, played that decently. Left it twelve feet away. It's a good putt. Good putt. It stays at one under. Power holes to go. Hole 15 is a par four. Par three, sorry, measuring 194 yards. The stroke index six. Good. 16 is a power 5 measuring 583 yards, stroke index 18. To the green and just have a short flop in. That's my strategy here, and it's turned out well again. Good shot.
last good shot into the 17th hole. I will give you the stats in a minute. Measure is 472 yards and is stroking next 12. Par 4 as well. I'm just going to go down to a 6 iron. Just because I don't want it rolling out too far and even that was too much club. It's middle of the green though so I should have a outside chance of birdie. So the last hole is a par of one measuring 486 yards, struggling next four. And it's a decent drive, it should land in the fairway and has done 307 yards. And that gives me 181 yards. Yeah, that's good. It's a good shot. Bounce too hard and it hasn't done, it's gone about six yards too far, well, 15 yards too far actually. But shouldn't roll out too far if I put loft on it. And it certainly hasn't done, and it should be able to be made from there. Just to stay at three over, and that's where he'll finish his round, assuming he gets it. As he'll drop to four over. Frustrating, but he drops the four over, and that's where his round will finish. So that completes the first round. Of the day, and not a bad one. We now move on to the second and final course of the day. Final course of the day, same conditions, same T set. So we'll be going from the back to, uh, blues at 6754, pin set one, and the same club set as well. So let's start this round and see how we get on. So, our one here at uh, Doombeg is a 567 yard par five, stuck in 15. Two nine seven into this par five first. Yeah. Still got to look at the lie, David, but it turned out to be a good one anyway, and that's a good one as well. Can he get it underway with a birdie? Yes, he can. It's a good shot. Or two, it's a par four, measuring 430 yards, struck in X5. Now, hole four is a mistake on this course. 
it was mispublished and it should be a part five, so that's what I'm going to play it as. I was just a hit and hope that, ladies and gentlemen, and managed to hit the pin. So, step one under after the first two holes of so three is a bar four, measuring 389 yards, struggling it to seven. quite what I was looking for but it is going to stay in bounds and avoid the water and I'll be a bit lucky to be honest it's not too bad manages to get it all the green So hole four is a par five, measuring 583 yards, struggling next one. That's what I, this is where the mistake was, ladies and gentlemen. So I'm going to play it as the par it should have been, which is why I mentioned it was a five. <coughs> so, I'm going to take one stroke off my actual score, which is what it should have been. So, I'm just going to play it as it normally is and uh, not as the game published it so we've got 320 yards to go uh, can't get there in two so we're gonna just roll this up try and get it onto the fairway which we managed to do So 165, yeah, it's the green, green, just a little bit of fading this. Twenty one. Right, so this is shot four, so need an up and down to get a five. And I won't be getting one there, so I will be dropping at least one shot. shot it is so we now stand at one over the game will say two over but I'm correcting the score to the actual score that it would have been so it's one over 
um, after 18 strokes so sorry after 19 strokes this is the par 72 uh, instead of a par um, does it play as a par 70 or should it play as a par 71 let's see what it plays it should be a par 72 yeah it should be a 72 it's playing as a 71 at the moment so at the moment I'm one over that bogey at the last good response there though good we're gonna immediate chance to get it back here yeah played that well 29 left himself nine feet with a chance to get back to level par Oh, unlucky. So he's going to stay at one over. So, hole six at par four, measuring 363 yards, stroke index 11. That was a very fast, so it's going way right. So not quite finding the tempo at the moment, ladies and gentlemen. Two hundred and thirty one yards par three this seventh. Oh, he's just losing his swing at the moment. Wonder if the uh, system is trying to do something, but won't put it totally down to the system. Thank you. 
so on nine is a par three, measuring 178 yards, stroke and it's three. Again, good weight, just got to sort out with his line, he's not missing it by far, but he's missing it by enough. Hopefully that's going to spin back, which it did. So it's actually turned out to be a bit better shot than it would have been. Not quite. So all ten, it's about five measuring five hundred and seventy yards, struck in eight. Yeah, that's a good shot. Getting the distance. Decent shot again. Two good decent shots there into this hole. Just 61 yards on the return. That should be too bad. That wasn't. So, nice comfortable par here. Seven holes to go. Starting with the hole 12, which is par 4, measuring 401 yards, struggling at 16. And that's not too bad. Considering I haven't played this game for a while, I'm doing pretty well. I'm a little bit rusty at the moment, finding tempo, but I'm not doing too bad. There's a chance for a birdie here. White. Six holes to go. Hole 13 is par 5, measuring 515 yards, stroke index 18. So we're now six over, of course. to the publish area. Just six over. Good chance of getting on the green in two, possibly. No, not quite. 26 yards.
so we go to five over. <laughs> Hole 14 is about 3 meters and 128 yards, stroke index 4. For being this power four measuring three hundred and seventy two yards, struck in at ten. Twenty-one. Ooh, not quite. Should have maybe lofted that. It would have stopped. Never mind. Six over now. Possibly going to seven over after this. No, yeah, not quite. Seventy yards is par four. Four hundred and twenty seven correction. Stroke index six. And we're going down one. Not quite the line I was after. Hopefully it's gonna stay firm, which it does. It's got a little tester here. Too hard. Looks like it's too hard, and it was just <sighs> At the moment we're seven over. Oh, oh, 17 is a par three, measuring 131 yards, stroking next 14. Shot, probably the best shot of the round. <laughs> Hole 18 is par 4, measuring 431 yards, struck in X2, and this will be the final hole of this video.
284 yards, nicely down the fairway. Not bad. Not bad. 148 yards. Well, that was a good way to finish. A nice birdie. And we finish at 5 over after a 76. So I would certainly settle for that, ladies and gentlemen. Remember that score has been adjusted uh, to reflect the actual, uh, the actual par that the course should have been, not what the par suggests on this game. So the par is a 72. I scored a 77, so that's 5 over. So that's before anybody asks why I'm saying I got five over instead of six, which you can see in the game. So uh, that brings this video to an end, ladies and gentlemen. We've shown off two courses today, uh, both of which are decent courses, and I can't wait for the next couple of courses to drop. I know that one is a dare, but I don't want to put too many courses on at the same time. So we'll pull that up sometime soon with another course to go along with it. But that brings to an end this video, ladies and gentlemen, and thanks for watching.